Let's talk about season two of Invincible. And as of right now, this show is making MCU and DC look pretty bad. And it really comes down to storytelling. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys. Season two had some boring moments for me that kind of took me out of it. However, the show knows the story it wants to tell and it sticks to it. After Omni-Man's wake of destruction and he leaves Mark, it's kind of having to leave our main character to recover. And whereas the first season was about hope and the reality of all things crashing down upon that, this season's the opposite. It's kind of finding that hope whenever the reality of the world constantly keeps kicking you while you're down. And that really is the main theme of this season. When it rains, it pours. Mark struggles of just everyday things like the will they, won't they romance because the idea of having a girlfriend is something that every guy wants, but does that person really fit into the life that you truly want to live? Keyword truly want to live because Mark is also trying to figure out what he wants, what's best for him. And I think that's very relatable and a key factor in everything, especially when he has fears of becoming like his father. I am your father. It's not true. That's impossible. And we explore all of this throughout the season where the main focus is more of a character progression story instead of a plot driven story. Don't get me wrong, both are very ample when it comes to how this story is being told in season two, but I think that's where it's cutting the edge over Marvel and DC. We are more focused on the relatability between these heroes that can do godly things than we are kind of patting ourselves on the back and catering to certain types of audience members. You add in the fact that the show is still as action-packed as ever, and the action sequences tie into the character progression, whether it's something that a character has achieved and learned, or it's the next step in them having to understand a situation as a whole, the action is part of expressing what a character is going through and feeling and heightening that what cannot be told through just dialogue alone. Take Rudy or Robot for example, whenever he has to go against the Sequids, he has been working on his emotional control. Control. This is both to show how he handles situations and how he actively challenges the world in his own internal conflict, but it doesn't work in his relationship that he's trying to pursue. And because of that, he has to grow as a person, not so much change, but understand that he can't just go in and fix everything outright. And this is what makes this season so great, is everyone's main theme is finding their agency, their choice. Whenever things or life itself feels like it's only giving you one option, you're still choosing to pursue an ideal that you want to achieve. The caveat having to be that you have to fight tooth and nail for it. And if I could just add the cherry on top, being the fact that the show takes superhero tropes and puts a twist on them or focuses on things that may be overlooked in other medias, like how characters can be traumatized from an experience and how they can grow to overcome those experiences, or even a hero itself failing time and time again, but still choosing to get back up and fight the good fight. With all this praise, you're probably still wondering, what was I bored about? Well, the overall message and theme feels like it gets beaten over your head one too many times, seeing that not just Mark, but all the other side characters are facing similar issues and are all wanting their own form of agency. Not to mention that the story outright says this at multiple times. When you start to see everybody having a bad day every day, you become more desensitized to the whole situation as a whole. Those small wins that our heroes deserve feel really fleeting, like whenever Rex Splode has to recover from his injuries and needs to get that win one more time. And honestly, this might actually be the point, maybe just taking the small wins wherever we can get them because life is never going to give you a break. However, they just don't feel that impactful in the grand scheme of things and that message almost feels lost due to the fact that a lot of times when good things need to happen, like Alan's ability to get stronger, or Alan finding Omni-Man, or even the Viltrumites finding Omni-Man and Mark, a lot of it can be very ex machina, like the good happens because it needs to happen and almost out of sheer luck instead of willing it to happen because it's something that you are fighting for. Dare I mention the last episode and the time traveling stuff. And yet the story still 
And yet the story still stays true. <laughs> There's so many S's in that. And yet the story still stays true to what it's trying to portray. Whereas Mark is focused on not becoming his father, we see that what happens when you take in all these bad experiences and you let them control you, you turn into something much, much worse, where the main villain of this season kind of comes through. And this really feels like a chapter in a much grander scheme, which is why I gotta give Invincible Season 2 an 8 out of 10. Until next time, play nice. Hey, I'm Mario. I like playing video games, watching movies, and Dungeons and Dragons. If you keep getting me in your suggested videos or you're watching this video right here, consider subscribing. It goes a long way. Thank you. Ah!